hour southwest of Brisbane. So, so this is the F111, which we've been waiting to see all this time. There's Rob. And this is the cockpit of the F-111. Amazingly, they didn't have individual eject seats. This whole section just shot up. So untidy. It's a caribou, uh, known as the workhorse for the Australian Army and uh, Air Force. And it's known for heavy payload and short runway landing. Cool. I would say I've never seen one or even heard the name. Yeah, they use them a lot over in Solomons in the Papua New Guinea because yeah. they had like a lot of uh, bush landing strips. So they seem to come in and just come to a halt. Yeah. Turn around and take off real quick. Is it older than um, a Hercules? Uh, it's like the before the Hercules? No. Um, Okay, if you want to read this, pause the video. 32 troops. Oh. This is inside the caribou. Caribou? Set up the stretchers and the troops. Sounds like the air van. Yeah. Here's the view of the cockpit. Two, four, six, eight. You could have an extra stretcher on the top yeah, too. Yes, so I'm looking at probably 24. Yeah. Him and Graham have got a whole bunch of people who keep following them and thumbing down their videos. Oh the yeah. The video could be like 10 minutes long and within a minute of it being posted, they get a thumbs down. Yeah. They're the trolls. They're the trolls. Here we are. I can't think what this plane is called. It's a uh, half a... Big ugly bastard. <laughs> it's half a carrier. And um, probably anti-submarine. Yeah, we, we will nickname it Bub, B-U-B, -B, Big Ugly Bastard, Bub. because the Bub. it's not pretty. <laughs> but fascinating. So were these things something to plug into the test things, or do they have to be plugged into something anyway? And these are the engines. You remember the old, um, back in the 80s, they came out with those uh, devices you can actually print labels, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dimex, Dimex yeah. or something, mm. and they, they brought out little plastic strips. Yeah. Them. They got them here. There are more plugs there, and just just there, yeah. all over the place. Uh, back yeah. a bit further. Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. Pairs, singles. Oh. So... Ah, for whatever's hanging underneath here. Could be a couple of yeah. torpedoes. LS carrier. LS carrier. Maximum load 500 pound. So yeah. when it came to modern technology, they used a very basic oh, yeah. plastic labeling system that kids used to use. And what type of cable is that? Is it pyro? Uh, that could be hydraulics. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hydraulic tubing. The, uh, yeah. with the basic wiring. So Very clever. To the point where now wait till I get out, so just in case you bash your head, so I can film it. <laughs> you never know. Ah, it's a, a gannet. British design. Served with the Royal Navy, Australian, German, Indonesian. Ah, oh, it's a turboprop. That's right. HMS Melbourne. from some Japanese anime cartoon. Yeah. 
We just had some spare parts and they yeah, put them just, all together. I mean, how the hell did they come up with a design for that? Yeah, yeah the all modern right, version. We're here to design a new uh, submarine bomber. Let's make it as <laughs> ugly as possible. That way it will be memorable. And it will be scary from above. And it and takes look, the both the legs and both arms to do it. I've seen that. Oh no, that's the Gloucester Meteor. The first British jet. <laughs> A big boy's toy. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be one of them in a minute. Now, this is actually good, all the dolls and everything. Are so you probably lost both barrels prior to circuit test and the probe. So look at the arrow. What was it, 30 cals? Probably more. Then there was some prototype in the movie, Mag Max. Have you seen uh, that yet? Um, I'll know as soon as I see it. I'm guessing it'll look weird. That one over there with the blue wings. Let's see. It had, uh, no, it had two. There's the Meg. Polish. There's a Huey over there. Yeah. yeah. Blood armed anti aircraft missile. Hey. And what's that big old plane there? P 51. Oh, the Mustang. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone apart from you have said, oh, jobby shop, there's only got a few aircraft. Sea Venom. Small plane. Every time he sees something, he has to press it to try and open it. Well, it's a hand-on on yeah. kind of experience. Hand-on display. <laughs> As the nose falls off. Uh, no. it's oh, right, no, it's got hinges there. Oh, yeah. Push. Pull. Inside. The empty dome. <laughs> you gotta get those top hinges in. This one won't go in. Ah, right, these top two sticking out. Yeah, but the side one. They gotta be first. There you go. This, the second one, um, the actor Bruce something or other had a little um, gyrocopter which looked like uh, that plane there. But that's a plane. I could get the thing out of my pocket and read which one it is. This is your classic Huey. Full size troop carrier. Big door. How many people? Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The gunners will usually be on the side. Yeah, yeah so we wouldn't count them. Looks very That's wide. Five. There'd be four or five on the other side. Yeah. Oh, they leave it open so you can throw casualties in. All painted up in the Australian Air Force. Oh no, Army. Since Army on it. They knew you were coming to used to fly in. Yeah. In his, in his days. Miss Obama still has they still they still use these for the American president. Yep. They got three of them. Belong to a US Marine Corps. 
There's a real biplane. It's a Togamoth. There's a um, few of those here in Queensland. You can actually go up on the go up in for joy rides. Yeah. It's an egg. Going up to a Mustang. Fortunately, the cockpit is covered in plastic. Ah, oh, mash. It's amazing how things have improved. Again. <laughs> Can't believe they wouldn't let me into the RSL club without this. Pratt and Whitney Aircraft, United Aircraft Corporation, East Hartford, Connecticut. Hmm. You gotta, if you go into Brisbane Airport, you'll see that um, there's a range of small airlines that do internal mm. flights and flights to the air, air Pacific Islands. It's like that one over there, airline of Tasmania. Yeah, yeah. That's what they have them. <laughs> 